Buddhism and Christianity are two of the largest religions in the world today as we know it. And while they both existed for thousands of years and changed somewhat over time, a lot of people can't help but notice the similarities that Christianity holds to Buddhism, whether it be their philosophies or their ways of life. Each religion has its own figurehead, a founder, a father. Christianity, this is Jesus Christ, and of Buddhism, it is Siddhartha Gautama, otherwise known as the Buddha. Two different men with two seemingly different paths, but what if they're somehow interconnected? And what if because of this, it becomes clear to see that Jesus Christ was actually a Buddhist monk? Let's find out. Now before you get upset or say this isn't even possible, we have to understand how this would be a plausible scenario and how this man could have brought these Buddhist philosophies back to the Middle East where Christianity sprouted. Because Siddhartha Gautama himself lived from about 500 BCE to about 420 BCE, which is about 80 years long. He had a good long life. And his practices were passed down and founded around his lifetime ending. Jesus Christ, however, lived from about 4 BCE to around 30 or so AD and was the pillar upon which Christianity was founded. So already we know that Jesus did not directly study underneath the Buddha. He was not one of the Buddha's disciples, but that doesn't mean he couldn't have learned this philosophy. But where the possibility of becoming a student in the East really starts to take fruition is in the fact that in the Bible itself, there are are roughly 18 years missing from Jesus' life. This started around when he was 12 and he didn't really come back into the book until he was about 30. And that's a long time. That's an entire childhood and young adulthood. And the big differences have to do with who he was when he left. When he left in the Christian eyes, he was the son of God, but he was still just a 12 year old boy. But when he came back, he was a fully awakened man. And that's always had people curious, how did this happen? Why is there no story of this happening, and it's because he left Jerusalem. According to ancient Indian scrolls that we have discovered, Jesus left Jerusalem at age 12, 13 to travel to Sindh to study Buddhism, to study in the art of Buddhist philosophy and Buddhist wisdom. While he was there honing up on these philosophies, he also spent six years under a Brahmin priest learning the ways. And then for the remaining decade of his life, traveled to the Himalayan mountains to study in the art of Tibetan Buddhism. And what makes this so interesting and so plausible is that this was right at the golden age of the birth of Mahayana Buddhism, which is one of the most followed classical versions of Buddhism itself. It is very strict, very right to the point about what these practices are and that you need to fulfill them and live them out in your life. This is just what these ancient Indian scriptures tell us, but there's also the striking similarities between the two figures that are visible when Jesus did return to the Middle East and began teaching what he had learned somewhere, somehow. Essentially, all the things that Jesus taught were already taught by Siddhartha Gautama, by the Buddha himself. So again, we can either assume that they thought these both up separately or that simply as a kid studying in Sipa and in Nepal for these odd 15 years that Jesus learned his practices and brought them back and spoke of them in his own way. Buddha said lose the self and attain Nirvana. Jesus said lose the self and he gain eternal light through him and the Father. Buddha taught the path to enlightenment, to unending suffering forever. Jesus taught the path to heaven, another place where there is unending suffering. Buddha taught to love all those, even those who hurt you, just because of the fact that we are on different paths and they may not understand what's going on. And Jesus famously also said in this exact same way, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they have done. Meaning the exact same thing. Forgive them, forgive everyone, because they don't know what they're doing. And to add on to this, the Buddha and Buddhist practices are very focused on meditations and mantras. And then Jesus as well was known to meditate very often and was very vocal about singing, about praying, about chanting to their deity, to God. Much like the Buddhists simply chant to the universe itself. Both taught to forgive all, to love all, to detach from the self, to relinquish materiality, to really, really get to a place of pure inner peace and love, and to give much more back to the world than what we take from it. Essentially, a fully altruistic style of life was the core pinnacle of both practices. So it's hard to even imagine that there was some way these were thought of by Jesus if not given to him by the Buddhist teachings through this Mahayana school of Buddhism while he was gone for all these years of his life. He simply didn't know any of this stuff when he was a little kid, but when he came back, he had all these Eastern philosophies wrapped up in his life and wanted to give them back to the Middle East. He took these Buddhist ideals from the Buddha himself 
and rearrange them so that they would make sense to the people of his land, to the area where he lived and where his populace grew. Regardless of whether or not you're religious or you think Jesus is the son of God or you're not into the idea of gods at all, it still doesn't take away from the fact that these striking similarities between these two human beings might have really been the case of him being a Buddhist scholar, of him being a student of these practices. Because either way, they were both men. Regardless of what you think deistically, they were human beings. And thousands of years ago, men weren't looking for fame or for fortune and these wisdomized teachings of philosophy of lifestyle practices. They were simply looking to help those around them. And I for one think they both just had such profound ways of expressing these philosophies and ideas that religions were then founded around them, piled on, more things added on, diluting it, changing it, warping it into what we have now. But at its core, if you really chisel all of this information away, you see two different men living at two different time periods with the exact same state of mind in life and in existence itself. And to me, it's just beautiful to see this, the fact that one entire religion was focused off of one man who may have simply been the disciple of another equally wise man who lived a few hundred years before he did. Because that's how most religions work. They cycle, they go from place to place, change and become their own thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think about the fact that Jesus was most likely a Buddhist monk and that he studied under these Buddhist practices while he was gone at this time in his life. If you have any questions or want to talk about it more, like, subscribe and comment below.